Hey guys, so uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's tutorial is how to mix your audio here with Vegas Pro and uh, which is I'm going to show you guys how to make your voice sound loud and clear and at the same time adding a background music but making sure that the background music not overpowering your voice uh, it can still be audible and can be heard but again not overpowering your voice Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it here with Vegas Pro. Now one disclaimer, I'm not a professional audio guy, but I'm going to show you guys how I edit my sound in general here with Vegas Pro. Alright, so here I have pre-recorded uh, sound, which is I recut my voice. So let me play it real quick for you guys. Hi, my name is Alif and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. So this is how it sounds like uh, straight from the microphone. And by the way, I'm using a mono microphone and I'll put a link down below where you guys can purchase it. It's very affordable. Uh, you don't need sort of audio interface, any kind of that, just plug and play via USB and you can straight away use the microphone. So anyway, uh, back to our tutorial. The the sound that I've recorded here, uh, the first thing that you want to do is to play around the EQ, which is making it sound much more better. So the way you access the EQ is by going to the track layer itself by pressing this track effects. So it will show up, uh, show up this audio track effects window where you will prompt with three default plugins, which is the noise gate, the track EQ itself, which we will um, play around the settings which I will show you guys later in a moment, and then a compressor. Or you can apply the EQ independently directly to the media itself by pressing the effects icon, track EQ, press add, hit OK, and you can edit onto the media itself. All right, there's two ways of doing this. There's no right or wrong. It's all purely depend on your personal favorite way of uh, editing the audio file. But since we are not dealing with adding any other stuff, I'm just gonna edit through the track EQ. I mean, to the track layer stuff. All right. So let's start off with the track EQ. So um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do here is take out a bit of the mids. By bringing down the mids, you're actually making the sound much more clear. I'll say. And then adding a bit of the low end frequency by bringing it up. So you're adding that sort of bassy sound to your voice. And also bring up the high uh, frequency here, which sort of adding sharpness to your sounds. All right, so I'm going to play the audio and in the same time edit so you guys can see what I'm doing to the track EQ and listen to the effects. Uh, that will be taking place while playing around with the track EQ, all right? So let me play the, the uh, track here, the, the audio. And this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. Hi, my name is Alif and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. Hi, my name is Alif and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. Hi, my name is Alif and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music. And All right, so with just a few EQ to our audio and it sounds much more better than the previous one. So let me show you guys the before and after by toggling on and off the EQ. Hi, my name is Alif and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. All right, so it sounds much more better. Now, uh, I just say your sounds have a bit of noise. Um, you can actually uh, get rid of it a bit. So I have recorded few seconds, I mean not few seconds, just one second of empty background. You can hear the noise, it's hovering around negative 9 or negative uh, uh, 36 to 39 decibels. So that's the noise level. So you can get rid of it by using the default plugin here which is the noise gate. So the noise gate basically will stop any 
unwanted sounds before the actual sounds come in, which is uh, our actual sounds start from here, which is our voice. It will display here through the to this waveform here. So since uh, we already check, it's hovering around 39 uh, decibels. So we're gonna increase the threshold to around 39, somewhere there. So let's play it. Hi, my name is Alif. And you can see there's no sounds. Hi, my in the beginning because it's already cut it off. All right, so your audio would sound much more cleaner with the noise gate. Hi, my name is Alif, and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. All right, so you can play around the attack and release. Uh, something I would say like sort of the curvature of when it will attack and release the the uh, the trestle for the noise gate here. All right, so maybe I'm going to release it a bit. But usually I will leave it by default here for the attack and release. All right. And then finally, we're going to compress our audio. Now, personally, uh, the default plugins are pretty much powerful enough if you know how to use it. But I personally prefer to use the new one, which is the EFX compressor, which is it's the same stuff, but it's for me, it works much more better than the default compressor in Vegas. Now, um, if you're using a Vegas Pro 16 and above, you should have this EFX compressor plugin or is EFX plugins VSD will come along into the Vegas Pro 16 and above. So you should have this if you're running on the latest uh, Vegas Pro, right? So what I will do here in a compressor, I'll put this to the low pass here and then the trestle. I usually compress it around negative 20, but it depends on your audio itself. And the ratio, I'll put it around 2, 201 or 211, somewhere there. And then I'll put down the attack slightly down, and I'll just uh, leave the release as it. So if I play the audio, Hi, my name is Alif, and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. So since we already compress our audio. Hi, my name is Alif. Now the level here is hovering around negative 12 to 9 decibels. I like my audio, my voice to be around negative 6 decibels. So I'm just going to increase the out a bit, maybe around negative uh, four or five decibels here. So let's play it. My name is Alif and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. Hi, my name is Alif and this is a demo. And it sounds much more better. It sounds clear and boomy. So we are done with the uh, voice part. So let's add our background music, which is this one. Let's play it real quick. It's very loud, it's picking, so um, let me just cut the music real quick here. Now, of course, if I play both audio together, you won't hear anything what I said. So, um, the way you making sure that your voice can be heard is quite obvious, is to tone down the music volume but toning down the volume for the background music is not enough, all right? So usually the numbers that I'll put is negative 18 decibels. Hi, my name is Ali, and this is... Or 12, tw negative 12 till negative 18, that's the number that you want to play uh, if you're adding a background music. So that's the number that you want to tone down. Uh, for the sound, for the loudness of the music. Uh, even though with volume down, it's still not enough. Hi, my name is You can hear my voice, but it's very busy with the background music playing. So um, how do you fix this? It's the same thing what we did to our voice, which is play around with the EQ. So uh, we're just gonna play with the track EQ only, nothing much. So same thing, you wanna bring down the mid frequency, cutting a bit of the holes here, but you wanna increase the bandwidth all the way out to four, right? 
So if we play, hi, my name is Olive, and this is a demonstration how it sounds much more better. You can hear my voice and the background music, and the background music will not overpowering my voice. All right. So another thing, depending on your music, uh, for in this case, my music have a lot of bass, so you might want to turn down the low end frequency a bit, or if your music is very loud. In the, in the end frequency, the high end frequency, you might want to tone it down a bit on the high end, just a bit, so that it will compensate for your voice. So let's play it. Hey, my name is Olive, and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. And we are pretty much done for layering both uh, audio for which is our voice and our background music and this is a and finally i'll mastering my audio which is go to the master track here click the effects icon and then we're going to add the compressor and we're going to compress it one more time so it sounds uh how do i say it? level up everything again i like my compressions which is a trestle around negative 20 decibels my name is Olive, and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. Hi, my name is Olive, and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music. Alright, maybe the volume for this music is too loud, we can tone it down a bit. Maybe negative 20. Hi, my name is Olive, and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and then finally, I'll add a limiter, which is this one, so that your volume will not pick to um, zero decibels. So I'm going to put it around negative one decibels. My name is Olive, and this is a demonstration how I mix my audio with background music and making sure the music is not overpowering my voice. And that's it, that's how I mix my audio here with Vegas Pro and I hope this tutorial will help you guys out there. And if you have any question related, you can leave it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys. See you guys next time, bye bye.